Hey, good morning, First Christian Church. Uh, it, it's 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 bright out here. It's gorgeous out here, and uh, I'm standing in front of the Clay County uh, Sheriff's uh, Department. Uh, uh, I saw Sheriff Eddie just a couple of days ago, and I think it's funny because when he sees me, every he always says, "Hey, Rev, how you doing?" <laughs> I'm doing just fine, and uh, always always a pleasure to to see the Sheriff's Department and the work that they're doing in this county. Um, uh, it's it's great and it's nice to be a part of a small community where you get to know people like this and uh, just to you know support them and love on them as they support us and love on us so uh, thank you for the Clay County Sheriff's Department for all that you do and I know that you are keeping us safe and so we can't thank you enough for that um, all right uh, so first Christian the only really announcement that I have is Sunday night uh, for our Bible study uh, at six o'clock and youth we are having Having food and uh, from what I understand it's soup and uh, uh, I'll be corrected if it's not but I believe we're having soup on Sunday night and I guess it's gonna be cooler weather as well so it's gonna work out just fine and uh, so we'll see you then well also if uh, you're reading along with us as we go through the scriptures uh, we are in Colossians this week uh, last week was Philippians and I'm hoping you were there to hear it I'm hoping that you did hear it. Uh, but now this week, as we're going through the book of Colossians, read that. It's an easy read. Uh, but uh, here Paul is going and he's talking to, writing a letter, of course, um, uh, to uh, the church in uh, 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 Colossae. And uh, uh, he's just wanting them to realize and understand something. And he's like, hey, uh, there's there's something going on here. I want to make sure that that you know how much I love you when and everything. And here's what he here's what he says to them. Listen to this in the first chapter. It says, "We always thank God, uh, our thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Jesus Christ and the love you have for all the saints. The faith and love that springs from the hope that is stored up for you." in heaven and that you've already heard about the word of truth the gospel that has come to you all over the world this gospel is bearing fruit and growing just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and understood god's grace and all its truth you learned it from epaphras our dear fellow servant who was faithful minister of christ on our behalf and who has told us of the love in the spirit now one of the great things about that is like hey because of you, Colossae, because of, of you, your love that you have for all the saints and, uh, that is known throughout all the world, all the world known at that time. And he's like, hey, listen, it's, it, and, and the gospel is spreading and bearing fruit. That's the cool part. It's bearing fruit. It's, it's not just existing. It's just not being there it's bearing fruit and so that is the amazing part of this is like hey listen your love is bearing fruit and it's growing then it goes on and he says this for this reason since today we heard about you we have not stopped praying for you and is asking god to fill you with the knowledge of his will through all spiritual wisdom and understanding and we pray that in order that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and may please him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, knowing in the Lord, uh, in the knowledge of our God, being strengthened in all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience and joyfully giving thank thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in the, of the kingdom of light. What was he really wanting? He wanted them to continue to bear fruit, to do what he wants us to do. And he says, so that you may live the life worthy of the call. Now, that's the thing that we have got to make sure that we are doing personally. What are you doing? Are you living the life worthy of the call? that has separated you? Are you living the life that is bearing fruit daily in your interactions with not only your family, your coworkers, uh, the people in the community? Are you bearing fruit? 
Got to ask that, guys. How are we supposed to reach people for Christ? How are we supposed to if you're not bearing fruit? If we're not bearing fruit, bear fruit. Let your love grow. All right? So, uh, I will see you Sunday morning, 9.45, by, uh, Sunday school, 11 o'clock worship service, Sunday night. Remember, we're having soup and Bible study and youth at that time as well. All right? Love you guys, and I'll see you later.